Power BI now has visual calculations and DAX has changed forever. Let's see how to write these visual calculations, their limitations and what we can use them for. Now they are currently a preview feature and not generally available. They're awesome, but there will be more to come over the upcoming months. Now, because they're a preview feature, you will need to enable them. We can do this by clicking File, Options and Settings and Options. And from this Options window, the Preview Features and scroll all the way to the bottom to see the visual calculations and a link to learn more and to provide some feedback. Now mine are enabled, so I can click OK and see a new calculation button on the ribbon. Now it is greyed out because I don't have a visual selected and I'm assuming no surprise, a visual calculation requires a visual. So let me click on this nice table visual I have and then the new calculation button comes alive. So if I click that button, it will divide my screen in half and I have the visual in the top half and this nice grid to work with in the bottom half. Seeing some examples for now though, for this new calculation, I would like to calculate the revenue per sale. So to do this, I'm going to divide the total revenue column values by the count of sales column values, just like we would do in a calculated column of Power BI or from the Excel world, such as where I'm from. And this is a very typical and very simple calculation. Now for the name for this calculation, let me label it revenue per sale. And the calculation is simply going to be total revenue divided by count of sale. Count of sales. And I can see this IntelliSense list picking up the columns from this visual. Now I'll press an enter and I have my results. There is my revenue per sale. You will notice that there is no formatting for the value and currently that's not something we can do in the way that we can format a measure. So we are limited to the formatting provided by the visual itself, in this case, the table visual. Something we can do though, is we could bring in the format function. So for this example right here, over on the right hand side, I can see my new visual calculation displayed as a column. And if I click on it, it will show again in the grid underneath and I can wrap the format function in there. So format that calculation, comma, and then I can paste in a format that I prepared earlier. I can close this off and press enter and I can apply that format. So I'm hoping formatting will be another improvement to come. At the moment, it's not available apart from what we can do in the visual or the format function. So this does mean that if I was to convert this visual to a chart, I can't chart that value. If I click on the back to report button and then change this to maybe a column chart, a clustered column. And here we can see that it's plotting two of the values, but not the revenue per sale. If I did want to show the revenue per sale on its own, so if I click on the drop down arrow provided for the visual calculation, I can edit the calculation and this will show these eye icons where I can hide total revenue and count of sales to only display the revenue per sale. Now, we know this is not working because of the format function, so that is unfortunate. To get it working for now, I could just come back and edit this calculation. I can remove what I did with the formatting and therefore it will work. So notice it still works regardless of the fact that the other columns it's using is hidden. I can see the columns in the calculation grid below, even though they're hidden from the visual. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let me change this back to a table visual and I'm going to create another calculation 
So I'll click in the formula bar provided. A nice simple one here. I just want to calculate what 10% is of the total revenue. And really this demonstration is just to show that I can still reference the total revenue measure or column as it is in this visual, even though it has been hidden from the visual itself. So it came up in the nice and telesense list as I was typing and I can still reference it. So this is awesome. Typing simple formulas like that, being able to refer to columns within a visual, very similar to how we would do in Excel or within the table view of Power BI for a calculated column. Calculations like that, as simple as they are, are, are much easier. Let's have a look at another example that dives a little bit deeper into these visual calculations. So in this example, I have a simple line chart and I want to calculate the percentage variance from one month to the prior month. And this is a calculation that would typically involve the calculate function to adjust the context of a filter. But let's see how easy it is with visual calculations. So if I click on the visual and then click new calculation and within the grid below, we have this little FX button, which will show the current list of templates available. So we have running sum and moving average, percent of parent, along with percent of grand total. And then what I want right now is versus previous. So if I click on versus previous, they give me this nice template to work from, or I simply replace the fields. So if I change this field, to total revenue and then within this previous function that they provide as there are many other functions that have come as part of these visual calculations including things like expand next and collapse and this will be total revenue again now this on its own at the moment will simply provide the difference between those two values, the current month and the previous month. There's a lot more to these visual calculations that I'll worry about showing in this introduction video, such as changing the direction when you say something such as previous. But here, rows is assumed. So when I simply say previous, it is implied that I mean previous row. And I do, so wonderful. And we can see this is working great. Now I want the percent difference. So if I pop over to the visualizations on the right and I'll click on my calculation and we're going to add in the divide function. Now we can absolutely break these calculations up on multiple lines, just like we are probably familiar with doing to our measures. So I could do my shift enter at this point and tab this in and bring in the divide function. With this, I can move to the end and say to divide the difference by the previous row. So let me bring in the previous function myself, as opposed to using the template I did a moment ago of total row, total revenue, sorry. And then I'll close off this divide function. So this is just a quick example of showing how we can use these calculations and some of the things that it can't do and some of the things that it can do very well. I can see I can bring in this divide function quite happily here, including doing our shift return and tabbing in. Now, one thing we know is that the format is missing. So we could bring in our format function here. Let me click on the calculation again to edit it. We can even use our var and return. So I could bring in a var here and name this as month percent using our divide function. And then below I could use return 
and tell it to use the format function for the variable month percent and that it should be as a percentage to zero decimal places. So that will do its job, very nice. And I can see the total revenue being plotted over on the visual. And because it's now text, as a result of the format function, that is no longer visible in the line chart above. Now these visual calculations are only available in the visual. So they are not part of the model to be used with in other measures, or even if we were to reuse that model in other Power BI reports or in Excel reports. They live in that visual only. So these cats are not going to go replacing measures. Measures are here to stay, but they will make within visual calculations much easier. And some of the measures we create are created for the use within a single visual. So they are perfect for that situation. They also calculate on the aggregated values of the visual. So they perform very well. Now for one final thing, although they're only available in the visual, there is more we can do within a visual. For example, over in the visualizations pane, I could move this visual calculation to the tool tips well, and then when I hover my mouse over the data points of the line chart, I see that visual calculation in there showing people the percent variance. So that's awesome. We can now use that anywhere within this visual. So what do you think? Are you going to be using visual calculations? What are you going to use them for? What do you want them to be able to do? Let me know in the comments. Microsoft are eager to improve these and have them work in the way that we want and doing what we need them to do. If you took anything from this video, please hit that like button to tell the algorithm that it was useful and I will see you all again soon. Take care for now.